So since a lot of awareness is being raised about sex trafficking and abductions, I'm going to go ahead and retell my story. This happened at a Walmart in the Fountain, Colorado area, which is right outside of Colorado Springs at 2 p.m. in the day. I was drugged and almost abducted. The question that I always get is how did this happen? Like how the hell were you drugged in a Walmart at 2 p.m. in the day? And y'all, honestly, I can't even, <laughs> I'm still trying to process. But the facts are that two people who looked like me did this. It wasn't a creep. It wasn't somebody who looked older and creepy and scary. It was somebody who looked like they could be my cousin. And the woman was the one who came up to me talking really fast, asking me if I wanted to smell a perfume from her new perfume business. Before you know it, this substance was on my arm. It smelled like perfume. It didn't burn. There was nothing weird about it. Nothing at all. I put my wrist up to my nose like this and I guess by taking a regular inhale because I did not sniff it, um, it went into my system by both my nose and through my skin. I instantly began to lose consciousness so I started to walk backwards so I can keep my eyes on them, um, stumbling trying to get to my aunt. However, I remember the man's face so vividly. He was smiling and they were both walking towards me still. I was able to take a picture of them from a side angle as they were leaving um, after they saw that I had took out my phone. Again, this happened in a Walmart at 2 p.m. in the day. I told employees they did not help me. One of the employees specifically looked at my phone, grinned and walked off. The facts are that this could have been you, this could have been your niece, your nephew, whoever that you love. So be careful, especially as a woman. Be careful. I know y'all just saw what happened in Houston. They're targeting us, okay? Be careful. Be careful. Because I'm still here, but there's somebody who is not.